Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the soul. If you're a returning subscriber, like I said, welcome back to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful night. I'm doing great, by the way. So let's tap in and let's see what's going on here, okay? So use your discernment. Put yourself where you belong. These are timeless, general, and collective readings. So grab your tea. Grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do. Chris Tash is going to spill the tea straight. No taster, no sugarcoating bullshit. It is what it is. So grand rising, guys. Cheers. I figured I'd pop out a reading before I start my clientele for the day. Well, for the weekend. I love you guys and thank you to all my subscribers, my A1 day ones, my newbies, my in-betweens. Everybody, especially my beautiful clients, you know, my life would not be able to, to run without you beautiful people. So as much as I help you, you help me. So thank you so much. Ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channeled message for the beautiful collective that is watching me right now. Remember, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it, okay, guys? Leave it for somebody it does. They're, they're, they're general, okay? So only take what resonates. Ancestors close any other door other than the highest white light. Let's see what the moonology manifestation, moonology cards want to talk about. It's shine, guys. You're about to shine. But you have to forgive somebody first, okay? You can't shine if you're trying to put somebody else down. Ancestors, bottom of the deck. It's confidence is key to success, okay? So if you're trying to put somebody down, clearly it's showing you have no motherfucking confidence. We have to forgive to shine. Okay? Everybody is, deserves to shine in their own right. And it says, speak your world into being and take time to breathe. Okay, so it's time to really see how successful you are. It's not about the money, guys. It's not about the fucking friends or it's about how you feel inside. About doing the best that you can every single day and having the foresight to see that things aren't always going to be peaches, cream, rainbows, and butterflies, guys. But we take it for what it is and we try to evolve through the experiences, building our confidence to succeed. Speaking our world into being, knowing that we have the capability to do whatever we want. It's up to us, but we have to take accountability for our transgressions as well. As much as we want to take accountability for the good things, you know, and boast about those, we have to admit when we're wrong and when we're clearly not right, right? We're, we're allowed to change our perspective, the illusions, the dancer of lies. See, we're allowed to change our perspective. There's a lot of people who would rather stay in the illusion of the lies because they don't want their idea of the, their world to start crumbling down. You know what I mean? They'd rather stay in this, this very broken idea <laughs> just because it's scary to know the truth. The truth is more fucked up than uh, fiction, guys. Bottom of the deck, it's the spirit of love. You have the confidence to really go after what you want. And you, your spirit is light as a feather. So you can dance with the light because you know self. You know the illusions. You see through the illusions. Time to breathe out. Be grateful that you're not stuck, okay? Because right now, somebody is. And this is what we need to forgive. Because the devil is at my, the bottom of my deck. Somebody is very obsessed with you. And I mean very obsessed with you. Oh, they may need an exorcism. <laughs> it's because of all this black magic they did. Somebody is being possessed or cursed. Take it as it resonates. That's the illusion, guys. Somebody is living in a tribe and they're being tortured. Okay, so it's like a cult-like living, you know, this group living. And they're being tortured because they don't even like the environment. That's the thing, when you get out of the fucking illusion, you hate the environment. And when you change your mind, your everything changes. And then you look around and you no longer are comfortable in what you chose to do. Now, somebody wanted to torture you or is feeling tortured. Because you got the 
power. I got the power. <laughs> you are seriously just, you're, how can I say this? They're social selective, okay? You see when people are grouping up, you know that the bigger the group, the, um, the more torture there is in that group. There's a lot of deception, a lot of temptation. Do you like this chair? It's V's. They bought it at the dollar store. It's fucking dope. It has a back. <laughs> and I can carry it with me everywhere I go. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. Sidetrack. So somebody may be upset that you always sidetrack. You always look at things differently. You always try to make light of situations because that's what brings you power. Somebody tried to abuse their power, but they can't abuse the authority that you hold. And they definitely can't play God in your life. This is why somebody is being tortured because you have royal living. Do you see what I mean? As people are living in group living, thank you ancestors for clarifying that. You're the opposite. You are the complete opposite. And people are mad because you don't want anything other than people who are powerful around you. And if somebody is trying to bring you down <laughs> to make themselves feel better, then you know they ain't got no motherfucking power. And that's exactly what's going on here. People are seeing that these people have no power whatsoever. And they're being tortured because the illusions and lies, they're being seen. And somebody's looking like a whole hot motherfucking mess. I'm telling you, somebody is going through some kind of torture. It's like they're delusional. Those, they're hallucinating or something. And somebody is going, it's um, astral projection or an astral experience. So somebody may be astral projecting to you, but then they got caught in between worlds. Somebody may be having a near-death experience. This doesn't have to be like that traumatic, guys, so don't even think like that. I would never wish that upon another person. What I mean is a transformation, a ending of the past to bring in something new. Earth disaster. Now, yesterday's reading, yesterday's morning's reading, I said that something was going to shake up and that I felt it intuitively and my intuition is always on point. And then there was that 4.9 earthquake in New York and New Jersey. And that's like very, very rare, right? So it's just an indication that things are starting to shake up. Now, I had uh, my cousin troll my post saying that, oh, uh, just, just to, uh, I forgot what he said anyways, but he said something like, just to compare something that there's always some kind of shake up in the world. But a uh, 4.9 earthquake in New York is kind of like extremely rare, bitch. So I blocked him because I don't deal with trolls. I don't give a fuck who you are. I see it. You never comment. You never congratulate. But then you're going to fucking say some stupid shit to try to undermine what I'm posting. Like, bitch, get the fuck off my shit. <laughs> Look, somebody's mad because they can't oppress you. They can't oppress you. A lot of people are bullies, tyrants, all up in your fucking energy. Trying to silence you because of your beauty. People don't like the fact that you're beautiful and brilliant. <laughs> so they want to shut you the fuck up, but they're having earth disasters. I'm telling you, all these karmics, all these energies that clearly never want to fucking say nice things, but then they want to come up and just say anything to fucking trolls, right? Listen, we don't feed no motherfucking trolls here because we know the trolls are being brainwashed. And they're trying to brainwash because they are in some kind of illusion. They are being instructed. This is what society is kind of programmed people to do, right? And you see these bullies for what they are. Like, come on. If you really have to put another person down to justify where you are, well, then guess what? You're inevitably going to fucking have no power. You have no power whatsoever. And, uh, yeah. A lack of confidence, that's for sure. So you're dancing with these lies, like you're just like dismantling something. And there is earth disasters, droughts, buildings collapses, animal attacks. People are being tortured now. People wanted to victimize you, but they didn't even realize you were fucking, you were born and raised in the street of hard knocks. And then you graduated from Petty University. So try me, bitch, is what you're trying to say. Like, yo, you're balanced, you're damn <laughs> I fucking love this. My beautiful collective views are awesome. I'm going to try to show you what's going on here with all these cards. <laughs> you're the empress. You smell good. You look good. You're the aloe, so you're healing. 
And of course, people are always going to want to try to get up on that divine feminine, divine masculine, took the rules, energy, right? It's your wisdom. You have the wisdom to speak your life into being, speak the world into being, queen of wands. Damn! You have this ability to be very magical. Oh, Lord. And what you speak is gold. And you are very much a warrior, a soldier. You fight for what is right. Two of cups. Oh, there was somebody who wanted to come up against you. I had a lot to say about you. But it was only because of your beauty. Somebody was very intimidated, Ten of Wands, and they're being very burdened in the background. Six of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups. It's somebody from your past, friends, family, acquaintances, perhaps even a lover, that uh, could not take a leap of faith in the right direction. So instead of doing the work, bringing an uplifting energy and high vibrational energy to you, you release them, released any kind of blocks and allowed yourself to love on yourself enough masculine feminine internally and became a crazy motherfucking warrior like you can't be touched you're untouchable and somebody can't love on themselves so they're continuously keep recycling energies because they don't want their illusions of life to break they'd rather sit in this toxic sludge knowing that everything is falling apart somebody really wanted you to a struggle with your appearance but you are who you are just because they're struggling with their appearance doesn't mean you are. There are a lot of people did a lot of fucking magic on you, but you're dancing through the illusions. The illusions are just that, a fucking illusion. Nine of Cups, because you are getting wish fulfillment. Somebody is really mad at you, really, really mad at you because your success comes from your confidence. Uh, the fool with the chariot. You're still moving forward. And somebody is in between lives because they keep trying to fuck with you in the spirit realm. And like I said, here on the 3D, you are from the school of hard knocks. And you graduated petty in a motherfucking university. So try me. Because in the spirit world, you're fucking a whole fucking soldier. And you have a higher purpose, a higher path. You are rare as a motherfucker and you stand authentically telling the truth. Being who you are. People can lie on you, but the lies just end up showing that they're fucking bully. They thought that you were an easy target, but these flying monkeys wanted to come in and try to put your head on a plate and serve it to their master <laughs> because this master wanted you to be oppressed. It's somebody who is in a cult-like living who is clearly brainwashed and wanting to torture you, but these people are the ones who are in delusions being tortured because you're on royal living. Like You're just like... You see me when you see me, bitch. Kind of energy. Okay, so let's get the juice and see what's going on here. And then I'm going to clarify a little bit further. Wow. Somebody is trying to anchor you down or feels very weighed down by their choices. See, these people wanted to domesticate you, wanted to, you know, mold you into their outdated traditions or religious fake mindset. And then they ended up getting oppressed. That's all they are is oppressed. That's why they're trying to get you to stay stuck in this brainwashing of society. But you're not. And then they get mad at you because you have lived. Yeah, somebody's trying to whip you so that this way you'll stay at a crossroads and like self-sabotage. But what the fuck, bitch? No, look, see, they tried to sacrifice you, crucify you. Now they're on the fucking cross. It is what it is. You know what you need to do as a duty. Stork. And you're creating something new, birthing something new. A lot of people are mad because as that empress, you do. You create out of fucking thin air. And you don't have anybody to hug on you and heal you and, and give you nurturing. But you do all of this for yourself. And that's what makes you so fucking powerful. Your gift. This is, this, this is something, my spiritual purpose. Mm, this is the truth. This is what's bringing you um, wish fulfillment. Your full potential lies in your gifts. Now, as a child, maybe a lot of people tried to hide your gifts because they knew big things were going to come with that. But you had to take the lead and close yourself off from a player or like, like player energies. You may have been a player at one point or another. We have to speak the truth. Remember, if we can accept the good in us, we have to accept the bad in us as well. And everybody's seeing the truth, that you are a fucking star seed. And you got the victory, guys, 11-11, to this twin flame or to this soul ascension. And it's all because of your gifts 
and your self-love. You are beautiful beyond measure. And this two of clubs is all internally. You did. You united your masculine and feminine because a lot of people were aimlessly wandering and you still got the victory in spite of this aimlessly wandering around because you are the star seed. This is why you're able to shield yourself from harm. Ancestors protect you. You are the earth angel. You are never, never alone. And these people really thought that you were an easy target, but they didn't realize you have 10,000 ancestors walking beside you. You took a new leap of faith on yourself after giving all kinds of people all kinds of love. And now your real love is coming in. And that's going to be wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, you are fucking magical. And this is going to be super unexpected, but you manifest the sin. And we can't manifest a person, an actual person, but we can manifest an idea. And it's effort plus intention, right? One, five, five, five on my clock. You did this all by yourself and made crazy changes. Because you're a light worker and you followed your path. Now somebody is looking at your dirty photos because they can't get enough of you. Somebody knows you are extremely fucking gifted. Uh, somebody may be taking your photos and doing dirty things to it. I don't know. But as a light worker, you help people fix their crowns and you're helping a lot of people get out of some kind of energy to move forward with the chariot. Very balanced uh, away from the oppression. Now, somebody may want to transform with you, create with you. With that stork, it's like maybe even have a child. Take it as it resonates or birth something new. Like the empress, it doesn't have to be a having a child, it's like birthing something new, creating something new. Ancestors, yeah, you got a lovers here. But there was a cheater. And this cheater, these people who have tried to cheat you out, friends, family, acquaintance, or even a lover, take it as it resonates, these bullies, these people who try to scapegoat you, torture you, they thought that you were a victim. You were never a fucking victim. Never not once, like I said. Yeah, Taurus and judgment, guys. <laughs> You are going towards something beautiful. Taurus is the empress. And it's judgment time. So people are having to pay the consequences. Because the emperor is coming in. Emperor in the upright towards an empress in the upright. This person is very gifted too. Very logical. But they have gotten cheated on as well. And everything is being returned back to sender. Somebody is very jealous because you helped somebody to see the truth as to what was going on. To help them. Because remember, knowledge is power, right? Once you know... Then you can get out of the situation. I'm telling you, somebody should not be eating from somebody, okay? Because somebody's trying to drop fuck with their dream so that they'll be in their feelings, okay? So don't eat, don't drink from anybody, you know, be very vigilant. Even if it's like your fucking best friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, be careful, okay? Because somebody's trying to get you in your feelings about a lover. So either you'll go backwards or you'll stay with them. There's hope here, though. You help other people evolve. That's hope. And somebody is doing too fucking much in your energy. And the ancestors are saying enough is enough. Fool in reverse. Somebody is feeling very fucking foolish because no matter what, you have self-discipline to focus. Your hard work and determination is being paid, is paying off. Temperance angel, exactly. You are walking change and you're bringing balance to a situation, especially to people who tried to oppress you because of your beauty. These organizations are being seen, guys. You got the victory over these organizations. They thought that because they're a group that they can do this to you, but you're all by yourself and you're more powerful than them. I'm telling you, you reach the stars. You are, you deserve everything that's coming towards you. Death, high priestess. I'm telling you, this organization really tried to end the fact that you were a fucking blessing. <laughs> that you that you helped people. These people did too much and ancestors are ringing their motherfucking neck. It is what it is. They didn't realize that you graduated from, like I said, the petty university, bitch. Try me. As above, so below. We're not all fucking love and light, guys. And somebody is realizing that they want to play with your motherfucking gifts and energy never lies. Now they're all getting caught the fuck up. And there is somebody who is very much doing some fucking stupid shit to your pictures. Come on. The devil, as I said, are doing some stupid shit to your pictures. The devil comes out. <laughs> and somebody just sent me a message. That message, that person is, is an Aries. So this devil may be an Aries. Take it as it resonates, okay? Wow. Somebody is so... Okay. 
This emperor is obsessed with you, empress. They're obsessed with your gifts. Holy fuck, do they want to trap you? Wow. They want to control you. But everything is being returned back, so you don't even have to worry about this. It's like, it's just... Yeah, because you're the empress. You see, I don't know, fucking... It is what it is. This is why he loves you, she loves you, is because you're beautiful. You're powerful. You have a higher purpose. And you don't ask for nobody's help. Seven of swords. Because you know people are lying. Especially when it comes to a twin flame energy. This is why you're still getting victory. Six of pentacles. Equilibrium. Balance, give and take. You got success, guys. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Nine of swords. But somebody was really cruel to the star seeds. And this is why you were shielded from harm. You're still moving through all adversities. And taking a new leap of faith, there's a new positive path here. Because you balanced out the energies, Queen of Swords, and you stood up for yourself. You cut people's masks right the fuck off. Seven of Pentacles. Now somebody wants to invest in you because they're a cheater. Yeah, they want to invest and they want to apologize because you caught them being a cheater. Ancestors caught them up. Fool in reverse. Like I said, that was a foolish choice. Somebody is realizing that... There's a lot of jealous fucking people of you trying to get in your way when it comes to your dreams. But they're in the fucking feelings. It's not you, lover in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody chose another lover because they couldn't do the work. And they didn't want their illusions to break. That their family's a piece of shit. That the fucking people that you're, they're fucking are using them for money. It is what it is, guys. You know I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. It's the page of cups in reverse with the four of pentacles. Somebody's trying to hold on to you for money. Like I said, four of pentacles. <clears throat> they will never apologize. <laughs> it's a lover, guys. Somebody you did love. That's trying to hold on to you at the same time as hold on to somebody else. Like, that's some sick shit. And that's why the five of wands is there. They're trying to drag you into the conflicts. Ten of swords. So they can try to ruin you. But these people are clearly doing too much. Knight of coins because you're still patient and you're patiently waiting for these fucking people's demise. They're reckless. They're fucking very fearful of you in real life, guys. Because look, they're stuck in between lives. They're fucking coming up against you. There's earth disasters all over. Buildings are collapsing because you are really the teacher. But these people have been mentoring a lot of people to be bullies. And like they said, the first card out, right? You're not fucking confident if you're trying to bully somebody to make yourself look better. Knight of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, these people are love bombers. This whole fucking organization, this crew, this group, this family, this community. Take it as it resonates, guys. Like I said, they're not going to give you credit where credit is due, but they're going to come and put their two cents in when it don't mean shit. Like I said, you were born and raised in the fucking streets of hard knock, bitch. Just because you're a fucking starseed don't mean that you're not going to fucking rip somebody's mask off when they don't come correct. Two of Wands. You have choices. You weigh that bitch out. And you do what's best, queen of pentacles, to protect what's yours. It is what it is. Somebody's very, very, very insecure about you because you changed your life and you help a lot of other people change their motherfucking life. Ancestors, let's see what's going on here with the situation deck. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody's doing some dirty shit to your fucking pictures. They have a lot of desire and lust for you. There's a lot of chemistry. But somebody wanted to invest in being a cheater, and you're not a fucking cheater. <laughs> not at all. You'd rather be by yourself. And this is why somebody's on the verge of confessing the truth. They are very jealous that you don't need anybody, that you are all by yourself and loving on life. And people are replaying history because they will refuse to break down the illusions. They are dumb. <laughs> sorry but shit is falling apart all around them and they're still sitting there and mad at you because you're getting the victory they're triggered somebody tried to run away from their feelings to avoid their feelings and now their feelings are all getting caught the fuck up i'm telling you people should just be honest from the get-go because somebody is definitely trying to avoid uh, avoid you but hold on to you at the same time, five of wands, so that they can drag you into their conflicts but they're about to rage the fuck out they're in a pressure cooker guys Somebody is ready to explode, and it's because they're hitting that rock bottom energy. Meeting, I'm telling you, there was two or more people discussing, planning that cult of bullies, this organization that's been watching you. They're doing too much, and they're all in this rock bottom energy. They're lost. 
their their soul is is lost because of all the choices that they made coming for fucking somebody who clearly had a soul ascension and got victory because they're a starseed temperance angel. The fucking cards are all here. You ghosted somebody or somebody ghosted you and thought that you were going to, I don't know, fall on your face and die. All you did was level the fuck up. And these drama kings and drama queens are all mad because they're love bombers and they're, they're being seen as love bombers. And you rip their fucking mask right off their fucking face, and you're sitting here happy like a motherfucking sunflower. You see what I mean? You, you, you are just so beautiful. And you're ready for love. Your heart is open for something beautiful. And you're overjoyed. You're smiling. You're doing what you need to do because you're the divine feminine. And somebody wants to put something on the table. It's an offer, okay? You want to know who it is? It's Archangel Michael. He's coming to protect you. To make sure that you have what you need. Not maybe what you want, but what you need. Okay? To be comfortable in the environments that you're in. You have divine intervention here. You are definitely prevented from harm. And you have protection because you're beautiful. You're like this delicate flower. Okay, so say you're like delicate. Not like a flower, like motherfucking bomb. Okay? So you got to be careful how you, you know approach because you can just be like boom and fuck people's world right the fuck up because you already healed your inner childhood issues you fed that inner child so you don't care if you have to start all back over again because you know you've been crucified so many fucking times and you're still on top so what the fuck does that say people are pretending like they fucking healed their inner childhood issues but then they're bullying hmm so what the fuck does that say? Spirit of love, guys. My spirits always see what the fuck is going on, and they will always call it out. Ancestors, let's see what's going on here. What is that? Is that the Nine of Pentacles? You got the Prince of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Yep, and my cards are all over the place, so they're not just in one, like, um, in the upright. So the Nine of Pentacles. And in the reverse and the page of wands. Somebody is not single, not self-sufficient, cannot get it for themselves. They need this group. They need this environment. And the fact that this whole group is fucking seen as a player in and out and they don't have their shit together, they're very... It's like they're, they're not stable whatsoever. Nobody wants to invest in them now. Tables are being turned, guys. The Five of Cups. Somebody is feeling very left out because the devil is in reverse. You have healed from this devil codependent energy, King of Pentacles in the upright. And you're standing on your shit, ten toes down. Somebody was very fucking greedy when it came to you, and it's a mother figure, Empress in reverse. The world. This is what you ended. A cycle with a mother figure, with a baby mama, with a stepmother, with a mother-in-law. I don't know, some some bitch or guy in a... In a Bitch-ass energy, take it as it resonates, guys, was really in the background trying to control you because of your finances or trying to control somebody because of their finances. But you still had victory over this nine of wands because you ended a cycle with this fucking drama queen, drama king, thirsty-ass, chaos-causing cunt. You ended the cycle. They really didn't know what the fuck. They, they undermined you. And like I said, you just ripped off their fucking mask. Three of pentacles. And there was a fucking whole group of people whole group of people and you ripped off all their motherfucking masks bottom of the deck it's because the ace of pentacles is there because you're the gift you have the gifts people want to play in your face you end up fucking telling them what the fuck's up and where the fuck to go that's why you just breathe the fuck out you have nothing to prove you speak your world into being and you see the lies you dance with them you see the illusions you speak it out and somebody is feeling a little bit insane. They wanted to call you and say, who in the world are you? Somebody is wondering, who the fuck are you? How can you do this? You are the empress, double empress, divine feminine right there. And it's got a lot of people fucked up because you tell, you tell the truth. Getting to know the new you. Laws are not just, guys. Here on the 3D, the laws are fucked up. Like people can get away with being a bully, a tyrant, and scapegoating you. And for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, I know... I'm still getting it with my fucking kids and, and the whole money situation. That's why I'm grateful for my gifts because I'm able to pay for my children. Because without my gifts, I wouldn't be able to. But that's exactly what my friends, my family, my, you know, the people around me in my community wanted for me to be really broke, busted, and disgusted so that this way they can laugh, kick me when I'm down. But 
we all get victory, we all overcome adversities, but we have to see it for ourselves to, you know, accept that, yes, we're not all love and light, and we have to know where the fuck we came from. People think because you're a fucking spiritualist or you're helping a lot of people that you're not going to fucking get petty with them? Bitch, block. That's real fucking petty. Go fucking find somebody else to talk to. Laws are not just, guys. Rules not made fair. Now, somebody is really upset because the, the 5 d 6 laws are really coming to uh, light. <laughs> and people are getting caught the fuck up. Everybody's going into dark. Everybody's going into dark. But how is, how is your dark? See, a lot of us have made peace with our dark. So it's peaceful, the darkness. But there's some people whose darkness is just hell. And that's their hell. They made that hell. Your mind is your own hell. You are your own devil in your life. There isn't an external that's going to affect you or should not affect you so much at the point where you start hating on other people and then you're mad because you fucked up. And sister, uh, Archangel Michael is always going to protect you. Somebody wanted to be queen. They wanted your position. You gave them that fucking queen position. You moved the fuck out the way. And then they wanted to fucking drag you into their conflicts because you decided to level the fuck up and be empress. <laughs> they can't compete where they don't compare. They're fucking mad because, yeah, you are fucking petty and you have no fucking problem being petty because you know where the fuck you came from. All in a golden afternoon, guys. <laughs> you are extremely inspirational. You have this creative spark. That helps people. You stand in your sovereignty. You declare freedom. And you pass the test. See, these bitches don't know anything about those things. They don't know anything about integrity. Doing good even when nobody's watching. Yo, it's all in a golden afternoon for you. And somebody needs to forget who you are. But I'm telling you, this king of swords, Leo, Aries, I mean, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, star, Aquarius. You, you, you are just it. And somebody's really watching your fucking your channel or your your page and they're living a fake life piss the fuck off because you are unaffected it says conditions fall away memory no longer defines you okay so their memory of you should not define who you are if that's what they think and we're all villains in somebody's story so awakening okay we're going through a major, major awakening here on the planet. So eliminate those who are trying to drag you down. They're going to have a mouth and they're going to use it. <laughs> Let them talk shit. Their lies. Dance with them. Have fun with it and speak your world into being. Don't allow other people to control your life. You know who you are. Do not let people sacrifice you anymore. Do not let people fucking throw you under the bus or say stupid shit. Stand up for yourself. It's time to stand up for yourself. You are overcoming all the obstacles. It says, your consciousness is awakening and you're becoming attuned to the message of spirit and nature. Trust your psychic ability. Exactly. So when spirit says go, go, okay? Because you got vehicles here. Do you know what direction you want to go in life? And do you feel in control of your life's plan? Do you represent the car model in your dream? Now, somebody could be really like, oh, you don't have a car or so, you know, you're this and you're that and blah, 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 blah. But these people are judging you on superficial things when they can't even control their lives. They're trying to control you because they can't control their lives. They don't like where their life is going, where they have brought their life. Or, you know, these people have lived their life. Like, people need to mind their motherfucking business, stay in their motherfucking lane, and stop fucking hating on people who are just unbothered. Unfucking bothered. So, guys, I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you some clarity. Let's get the overall energy from the St. Francis Oracle deck. Earth. Now, you could be very grounded, but this, to uh, this Capricorn's all over. So, check your birth chart, okay? Because there is somebody who is very obsessed with you. It's a whole coven of people because they can't touch you. <laughs> They definitely can't oppress you. Imagine somebody trying to shut you the fuck up because you're beautiful and they don't want you to be smart and beautiful. Number 19, I, I read that yesterday. Okay, you're smart, beautiful, and you're very fucking protected. You are, you are very fucking powerful. Okay, so if you haven't already watched um, last night's reading, because I read that number 19. 
Number three. It's funny because I read number 19 on accident, but look, number 19, the card comes out. So it, it was meant to be said, okay? So three, the mirror and the candlelight. Let your light shine. Do you not... Why do you not see the, the shining light within you as others do? Why are you afraid of revealing which is stopping you from discovering your true potential? The time has come to remove the mask and show the world the real you and your true self. You feel the need to protect yourself from emotional harm, but you have nothing to fear from stepping into the limelight as things can only change for the better. If you are feeling blocked, with a little effort you can push through any difficult period in your life and conquer whatever is holding you back. You are on the brink of change. You, need to, you just need encouragement and support to know that you are on the right path. The light ahead of you will shine bright, shines brightly and opportunities are calling. Don't allow fear to, of the unknown to stand in your way. Embrace challenges ahead. They will be the making of you, okay guys? So it's time to be the mirror and the candlelight. Let your light shine, okay? And I'm going to read that, number 19. Psychic development, learning, and studying, okay, guys? Your curiosity in psychic and spiritual matters are awakening. You have an urge to learn more. You may be already dabbling in occult matters. It is likely that people with similar skills will gather around you, but realize that you are a natural-born teacher and intuitive abilities will be more receptive than those around you. Use your skills and trust your psychic instincts. You are open to your energies around you. Studying occult materials, reading cards, and taking interest in all forms of divination are important at this time. Finding groups where people with have similar interests will help you to develop quicker, but know that you're a natural psychic. So be sure to use your gifts wisely. Respect the craft, and you will be guided well. This is why people are trying to uh, compete with you. Because your gifts are from nature. They're natural. You were born like this. So they're trying to shut you the fuck up because they don't want their illusions to break. Their illusion about you, their illusion of society, everything is falling apart. So people are really grabbing at straws to try to make sure that their shit don't fall down. I'm telling you, all the buildings are collapsing and it's because it's awakening time, guys. Judgment fucking day. And you're helping people fix their crowns to show them to follow their path. And it has somebody so fucking intrigued, so intrigued, because you're confident to be able to speak your life into being, to take time out to breathe, to dance with the lies and the illusions because the ancestors got your back. People know you're a fucking powerful. <coughs> Beyond measure. So ancestors, I want one of these. It's all because of your self-care. You're able to alchemize and change the energies. I love you guys. You are so beautiful. So do not let anybody disrespect you. And if somebody is like trying, you can feel the energy. Believe the feeling you have. You have this ambition and this determination to do and conquer anything. And a lot of people will try to put things in your way. But they're polluting their own mind. That doesn't mean that they get to pollute yours. You're closed off, guarded, and restricted from this kind of energy. And somebody is really mad that you aren't fucking, you ain't playing no games. Like I said, you're fucking, you're from the streets of hard knocks. And you graduated petty motherfucking university. And somebody is fucking nostalgic about you. I'm telling you, somebody loves your spice because these people know that in the summertime, there's a growth. Somebody has been avoiding coming in to offer you something because they feel like you're cold and detached. Somebody's having a dark night at a soul. They're very grateful. But these third parties, their masks are coming off. You rip their fucking mask right the fuck off. They did something in the autumn time to try to block something for you. But you feed your ancestors in the harvest time. And the ancestors are very grateful for you. And allowed something during that last eclipse to eclipse out. Protect you. And now something is being eclipsed back in. Transcendence and unity, divine intervention, ancestors are helping you. Take action to distance yourself from some kind of contract that was meant to keep you binded, okay? We're all going and eliminating things. This lack mentality, this doubt, you can do it, guys. Somebody is suffering from the past, but they're remembering and awakening that they're the ones who are closed off, that they just 
Everybody just has to take the fucking mask off and stop fucking judging people for what they do not know. You are single, self-sufficient, independent, and this is what the fuck people are fucking gossiping about. They're mad because they need fucking people to feel good about themselves. They're jealous, envious, and petty. And like I said, you graduated petty motherfucking university and you're ripping these bitches. So I love you guys. Stay blessed. I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you some clarity. I hope it made you laugh a couple of times. And stick a like comment. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stand up for yourself. Okay. Bye.